Dear learners, in this lecture video, we are going to derive the condition for steady state stability for a load driven by a motor. Let us consider a load has been driven by a motor. T represents the torque produced by the motor. TL represents the load torque and omega m represents the angular speed of the motor. For this system, the equation governing motor load dynamics can be written as T is equal to TL plus D by DT of J omega M. Here J represents moment of inertia of the motor load and omega M represents the angular speed. So this equation can be rewritten as T is equal to TL plus J into D omega M by DT plus omega M into dj by dt for a motor load system if j is considered to be constant then differentiation of constant with respect to time will become zero so this can be rewritten as t is equal to tl plus j into d omega m by dt name it as equation number one now under equilibrium condition the angular speed of the motor will be constant so differentiation of constant with respect to time becomes zero so under equilibrium condition we can write t will be equal to tl and j into d omega m by dt will be equal to zero this is the steady state equation under equilibrium condition now if there is a change in supply voltage or load Equation 1 can be written as T plus delta T is equal to TL plus delta TL plus J D omega M plus delta omega M divided by DT. Here delta T represents the change in motor torque, delta TL represents change in low torque and delta omega M represents the change in angular speed. Now this can be written as T plus delta T is equal to TL plus delta TL plus J into D omega M by DT plus J into D delta omega M by DT. This is equation number 2. Now 2 minus 1 will result in T plus delta T minus T will be equal to delta T TL plus delta TL minus TL will be equal to delta TL similarly this term minus this term will be equal to J into D delta omega M by DT this can be labeled as equation number 3. Now in this equation, delta T and delta TL can be written in differential form as delta T is equal to dT by d omega m into delta omega m and delta TL can be written as dTL by d omega m into delta omega m. Now we can substitute this value in equation number 3. So dt by d omega m into delta omega m is equal to dtl by d omega m into delta omega m plus j into d delta omega m divided by dt. Now taking this term to the left hand side, we will get J into D delta omega M by DT is equal to DT by D omega M into delta omega M minus DTL by D omega M into delta omega M. So D delta omega M by dt is equal to 
वन बै जे इंटू डीटी बै डी उमेगा मैनस्टीएल बै डी उमेगा इंटू दिस डेलटा उमेगा काम बोथ द टर्म सो इट इस टेकन अवट सैड द ब्राकेट सो दिसक्वेशन कैन बी रीरीटन एस डी डेलटा उमेगा बै डिटी इज ईक्वल टू मैनस् वन बै जे इंटू वी आर् रीअरेजिंग दिस् सो डी टीएल बै डी उमेगा मैनस्टी बै डी उमेगा इंटू डेलटा उमेगा सो दिस इज फर्स्ट आर्डर लीनियर डिफरशियल इक्वेशन इन दिस इक्वेशन इफ डेलटा उमेगा आफ जीरो रेप्रसेंट द इनिशियल डीवियशन आफ द स्पीड अट टी इज ईक्वल टू जीरो then we can write the solution of this first order linear equation as delta omega m is equal to delta omega m of 0 e power of minus this term 1 by j into dtl by t omega m minus dt by d omega m into t This is the solution for this first order linear differential equation. Now the equilibrium point will be stable when delta omega m approaches zero when time tends to infinity. So for this to happen, the exponential term must be negative. So for a system to be in steady state stability, the following condition must be satisfied. That is d t l. By d omega m minus d t by d omega m must be greater than zero. So this is the condition for steady state stability. So if this condition is satisfied, this exponential term will be negative. So that when t approaches infinity, delta omega m will become zero.